Welcome back to Tuesday Tech Tips. In the second part of the Golden Order series, I'm gonna show you how to use Kahoot, a game-based learning platform that you can use to identify starting points and performative assessments in your sessions. Kahoot's a game-based learning platform that's been around since 2013 and is a fantastic formative assessment and knowledge checking tool. It brings fun and gamification to your sessions and it's ridiculously simple to use. Head over to kahoot.com and sign up for a free account. Once you've done that, you'll be brought to the homepage. To create a quiz, click the Create Quiz button. You've got the option to create a quiz, a jumble where you drag answers and put them in the right order, or a survey. We're going to create a quiz. Click the Create New button. Give it a title and a description. You can change the visibility so only you can see the quiz while it's being tweaked. I'll keep this one visible to everyone. And I'll keep the language set to English. If you were using other people's images, quotes or references, then you would credit them here. Kahoot also lets you add an intro video and embed it from YouTube, but I'll leave that for now. Up here, you can upload your own cover image. Just click the picture icon and navigate to your image. You can then crop it if you need to. Now we can add a question to the quiz. Write the question in the text box. Now add up to four possible answers. Set the time limit for the answer. I'll set mine for 10 seconds. You can really ramp up the gamification by gradually reducing the time your learners get to answer questions as the quiz progresses. And then select the correct answer by clicking the tick icon. We won't add an image to this question, so we can click next. So we'll add another question. This time we'll upload an image of a tool for the learners to identify. You could even add a YouTube video asking the learner to spot deliberate mistakes. Anyway, this is an image question, so click the upload image icon and navigate to your image and upload. Fill in the question boxes. Lastly, we'll put in a more difficult, vocationally relevant maths question. Okay, so the question is, one bag of plaster covers 10 meters squared with a two millimeter coat. How many bags do you need to cover 20 meters square with a 12 millimeter coat? Is it 20 bags, 15 bags, 30 bags, or 12 bags? Any guesses? <laughs> it is, of course, 12 bags. Now you knew that, didn't you? We'll give the learners slightly longer to answer this question. Okay, click next. And now we can click save. You can edit your Kahoot, preview it, play it, and share it. So we're ready to play. Okay, you'll see in a minute that your questions would appear on the screen, which means if you're in a face-to-face -face session, the students would be able to see it on a whiteboard or a display screen. Now, if you're meeting your group of learners remotely on a webinar, for instance, you would need to share your screen with them for them to be able to see the questions. I'm going to record my iPhone so you can see how things look for the learner. We'll choose classic mode, and I'm gonna mute my computer to turn off the Kahoot music, which is annoying. The learner heads over to kahoot.it and they input the game pin and then they can add their name. If they put something inappropriate, you can kick them out of the game just by clicking on the name. Once your players have joined, click start. The question appears and the learners choose the correct color and symbol representing the answer they believe is correct. Work through the rest of the questions. At the end, you'll have a winner and you can see the results. What's also great is that you don't have to create quizzes from scratch. Kahoot's got thousands of shared quizzes that you can search by keyword for by heading to Discover and searching their bank of shared Kahoots. You can duplicate a quiz by clicking the three buttons and then you can edit the questions that you want. I've used Kahoot with a massive range of learners and even the ones that are too cool for school end up getting competitive. It's a fun way to find starting points, embed terminology and vocab, and it also highlights some of the areas that individual learners may be struggling with. If you've not used it before, give it a go. You'll be surprised how quickly your learners get involved. I'll see you again next week for another Tuesday Tech Tip.